Previously on Joe to Pro, we are currently halfway into our season, and I have played four games. While I'm currently sitting at a 44 and a half yard average with around 4.3 seconds of hang time per punt, this is technically a bottom five punter in the league. But being blessed with a low sample size, I have four games up that I could drastically use to turn this game around and convince one of these leagues, maybe even one of the smaller ones, to give me a shot. Most importantly, the CFL, whose season is approaching and I have a tryout with on the 27th. So, Perhaps we should take a look and see where I stack up with those punters in this prelude. What I've found after a quick search is that most of these guys are kind of between that 44 and 48 yards of punt, putting me a little bit above the bottom, but very much so in the race, especially with how much longer the fields are going to be, and meaning there's less of a chance that my 33% of punts would be pooch punts like they currently are. I also would have more time to practice with my team, better consistency on snaps, and much better field conditions than I'm currently playing on. And there'd be no better way to test my CFL readiness than by playing in the crazy winds that I was about to experience today. Alright guys, we're out here. Jota Pro Season 2 Episode 6. Uh, I don't have Devin out here with me. We're out here. Okay, we got a good game going on today. It's windy as crap like you're gonna see. It's not so bad this very second, but it's been really, really bad today. Right now, we're about to start this game. I don't even know if we're gonna have a game. Okay, there's like 14 of us here. We just got this uh, scary talk, like the game might not even happen. So I don't know what that means for us. I don't know what that means. If this game gets canceled, if our season's canceled, I don't really know. But um, if you see a kickoff start, just assume that game one is going on and uh, let's cross our fingers. Or not game one, just assume that game six is going on. Let's just cross our fingers that uh, we have the rest of the season, okay? Because right now, I don't know. It's just the last couple losses. We had three losses in a row, so that kind of gets on people. I guess two losses in a row. We are, no, 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 three losses in a row. Yeah, that gets on people. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make something happen. Well, before I knew it, I was called out to kick off because we were able to find a couple extra guys to play because they kept trickling in. And then, before I knew it, I had to punt. Little did I know that this would be my last punt of the first half. Not because we were turning the ball over, but because we were winning. Miraculously, and not just winning a little bit, but I mean, I had to kick off quite a bit. Now, all I did were these little cute squibs and pooches. I didn't really feel like trying to kick off very hard at all, but holy crap, I did not expect to be in this position. Get this set up. Guys, I don't know what the, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. We're winning. We're like winning, winning. Um, I got my wife out here recording, so I'm not sure if she's going to be able to get like any of the actual like plays and the game footage, but right now the score is 20 to 6. Us. And we're like driving the ball offensively. I had one punt, okay? One punt directly into the wind. Wasn't terrible. I got it like, I have to go look, but it's a little, it's like right around 40 yards. Might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less. <laughs> uh, don't have the hang time yet. This is a clean turnover, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do when the, uh, the wind is doing what the wind is doing? I don't know. So, it's a tough time, tough time to be a kicker. But let's just get out, hit some balls at halftime, see what we can make shake. All right. Start, not a bad start. Not a bad start. We might still be in this game. We might actually, we might actually win. There's only like 19 of us right now. We'll see if we can make something happen. Now at halftime, I was able to get the wind at my back for some of these warm-up punts, and guys, the distance I was getting was insane. I hit my longest ball of my entire life during this warm-up period. It's not the one you're watching right now, but the one previously. It was like 72 yards. That is insane. And obviously, yeah, the wind's carrying it a bit. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's not. But I was at my own goal line hitting balls to the opposite, like, 15 and 10 yard line, which is nuts. But the second half kicks off, and I'm able to get with the wind at my back. But unfortunately, the ball currently is on the 40 yard line. So, gotta adjust some traffic here, get ready, and try to get the best ball I can. And honestly, I'm okay if I hit this one into the end zone. I wanna pad the stats here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it must be your first game. He been doing this shit all season. 
Yeah, that was like 58 in the air. It took a really favorable bounce into the end zone. Well, I guess it's not super favorable, but I'd get another shot here. They'd move the ball up to the 45. So this time I was going to try to uh, take a little bit less off of it since it's less of an impressive stat now. I get the uh, nose up a little bit. Ball doesn't fully turn over, but that's okay because it takes a beautiful bounce, goes to the four yard line, checks back to around the eight. We'll take it. That's a beautiful pin punt. Then our offense goes back on the offensive we score a couple more times and before i know it it looks like we're trying to run the clock out which means there's going to be a lot more punting i get two more punts here both of them from relatively far back the first one i try to just get under this wind because it was howling and boy howdy do i get under it it goes 45 yards but there was nowhere close to four seconds of hang time which is absolutely disgusting that i hit a ball so low I haven't hit one that low in a very long time kind of is what it is like i said i was trying to keep it below that win but then after that we get lined up i'm ready to punt we jump off sides they back us up at this point i'm just annoyed i'm like oh my goodness what is going on then the wind picks back up i kick it it was uh pretty short it's really really hard to tell where this ball lands at i was at the 14 the ball looks like it lands at like the opposite 48 47 in that ballpark we did it guys somehow miraculously we uh we won we didn't just win but like we won one okay now for the punting i only got one with the wind in my back i was so disappointed at halftime i had these huge gusts of wind going this way over no 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 this way so over my right ear right to left and i was just hitting these spirals <sighs> drilling them i hit one that had to be over 70 yards i don't know i saw my brother was taking some film my first game my other bro my brother ever got to see um uh, before first punt finally had one in my back uh, it was a little half turn, like 51 yards, is what it is. Second punt, we're going directly into the wind. Of course, naturally. I go out there, I'm just trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to make something happen, you know? I'm trying to drive it. It goes low. Not just low, like really low. That ball left my foot and I was just like, that's not good. Whatever, right? We live, we get going. Hopefully it's over four seconds of hang. Probably, <laughs> probably not, but hopefully, okay. Last punt though, the game is like about to end and I'm thinking, okay, cool, I've got two punts of the wind, one with the wind in my back. I can make it out of here scot-free. I'm good, I'm chilling. We're about to be done, let's go. And then we're backed up. And then there's a delayed game. So I'm even further backed up, ball at the 14 yard line. Uh, I didn't really get to see where this ball went. It didn't feel good off my foot. I was so disappointed. We're literally about to punt. It is dead, the wind is dead, and we get a delay of game. And by the time we they get finished respawning the ball, the wind picked back up, and it's back to being freaking 20 miles an hour directly into my face. It turned over, I turned over all three of my punts in the wind. Sometimes you just can't ask for anything better than that. Um, it was a little bit higher, the guy muffed it, and you know, they ended up falling on it again. But just did not feel like it went anywhere. If I had to guess, Somewhere between 35 to 40 yards. <laughs> Not a lick further though, I'd save you that much. Statistically, uh, we'll finish up the wrap up at home, but thanks for coming along. I'll see you in the wrap up. So after this game, I have four punts with a 44.25 yard average per punt. One of them inside the 20 down on the eight yard line and a 4.31 hang time average across these four punts with a notably low 3.78 weighing that down. That brings my overall season average to 44.4 yards per punt and a hang time of 4.27. Now we got unlucky by kicking into the wind most of today, but hey, that's the game we play. It's a coin flip. Sometimes you get unlucky, sometimes you don't. You just have to be able to do more when you have the wind at your back. But overall, for how this brings me to the UFL totals, if we just go by my week two total, I would actually be doing pretty well. Second in the UFL, as a couple guys went down, I had a couple pretty good averages to start off the season, but a really low sample size of only four total punts. If we go ahead and throw in my total punt calculation, which I'm going to start doing after week three, I am exactly in the middle of the pack with 44.4 yards per punt and 4.27 seconds of hang time where things have shifted around where the DC punter, the Stallions punter, the Roughnecks, and the Renegades punter are all in front of me but it's a pretty tight race for that second, third, and fourth spot so one good week and I could be back in a pretty commanding position to give myself an argument for why I could be considered for one of these leagues. All in all, it's really not bad. I think I've got a lot going for me. I just gotta tighten up, get a little bit better hits when I have the opportunity to and we can really make something happen here on my journey from joe to pro he got it.